Carter pre presents A Visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Clark Moore. Was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hopes that St. Nicholas soon be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds. While visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When, when out on the lawn arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash. Tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With, with a little old driver so lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than the wrinkles his coursers they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now dash, sir, now dash, now planter and fitching. On common, on Cupid, on Don and Blitton. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away. Dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh of full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing of paw and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my Okay, wait, head. let's do that again. Each little hoof would give them chance. Yeah. Say that line, that last line again, Will. The prancing and pawing of each little hoof. Okay. As I drew in my head and was turning around. Down, down the chimney. St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose was like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his heart he held tight in his teeth. Wait, let's do that again. You guys are going to throw it. Get, grab your pipe. Okay, do it right now. The smoke he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, and he shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Let me hear your laugh. Oh, 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 oh. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of the eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight into his work and filled all his stockings then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprung to the sleigh to his team gave a whistle. Away they all flew, flew like the down, down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy, Happy Christmas to all! Way.